Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Louisville, Kentucky, with uh, who some people have been calling Elevator Boy, which I think is a great idea, considering that he has a reputation for getting himself trapped inside of elevators. But anyway, he is at a uh, gas station, and somebody apparently uh, collapses, and, uh, well, he starts berating a cop because he thinks he's going too slow. But we all know how Chrissy is. I mean, we all know that he has an absolute disdain for uh, police officers. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, brother, hey, officer, you coming? I think you had a seizure, man. No, inside. Up there by the counter. He fell out at the counter. Whoa. You can go ahead. Well, the officer walks right on over there, and I'm sure he's just being cautious because, well, he is a police officer, and somebody might have an in for him just because he's a police officer. Somebody like Chris, or a.k.a. Elevator Boy right here, might have set a trap for him. But, you know, uh, Chris doesn't think about that kind of thing. I mean, all he knows is he hates cops, so he just wants to find a reason to bitch them out. But anyway, I know how this guy is with copyright strikes. In fact, I'm waiting for mine, considering how many videos of his I've used. Let's just go ahead and skip on to when the paramedics are taking care of business, and then go from there. Five minutes later. I know there ain't a whole hell of a lot to this, but did you see how slow that cop moved? Did you see how slow that cop moved? Went over, they called 911 because the man had a seizure and fell out on the floor. Bumped his face on the counter and everything going down. They called 911, that was great. 911 responded pretty quickly within a few minutes, they're here. But the cop was out there pumping gas and I walked out there and I said, hey bro, they're trying to get you to come in here, you're a first responder. There's a guy that's on the floor in here had a seizure. Did you ever think to ask the guy if he had ever received the dispatch? I mean, that could be part of the issue right there, that he was unaware of something that was going on in there. Because, you know, that kind of thing is a distinct possibility. So why don't you uh, use that brain of yours if you even have one, to actually think of something other than the cop is a pile of shit. Maybe there's something else going on here. Try using your damn head, boy. What I'm saying is, why did that cop not come running? The reason being is what, Tiff? Tell them what the reason is that that cop don't come running. Because he don't give a fuck. They don't care about the community here. The police in Louisville do not care about the community. They only care about getting your money. That's all they care about. They couldn't be more obvious about it. You know, I watched that video the other day of you saying that you were afraid you're going to lose your job. Well, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, if you stop posting all this BS on YouTube, maybe they'd overlook it. Because if you were on social media and act like a complete jackass, then they just might end up firing you because, well, you'd give them a bad public image. I mean, I've seen it before. I used to work at Walmart and pe when people posted negatively on Facebook or something about that on about Walmart. Well, there went their job. So you better watch out, boy. Hey, man. Was it your lunch break or something? Yo, kind of. What's up? Well, is that why you were going so fucking slow to the emergency whenever I come out to get you? Man, if you're going to be a first responder, you need to respond. Don't act like it's, it's going to bother you because you're on your lunch break, man. We don't need no more cops like you. Just quit taking our tax money, man, if you don't want to do the job. What's your name? Badge number, do that.
Let me see. I bet if it was one of your family members that fell out, it wouldn't have took you that long to walk up. And Chris, elevator boy, I'll be perfectly honest with you. So I know that you're in the construction business, and uh, you've got to be able to uh, have a sense of professionalism in there. Even if you're just tightening bolts at any given time, you still got to be self-aware enough to realize that people are watching you and that they may have a negative opinion of you if you should ever come along and uh, well, they need a contract done, a construction contract. They might not hire you for it. You're the reason people are mad. Okay. That kind of shit right there. Next time you hear somebody's in a medical emergency, move you. Okay. You're in perfectly good shape. Okay. Hey, and you know what he just told me? It was his lunch break. Oh, real fucking day. That's what they, that's what he said. Is this like, I said, is it your lunch break or something? He goes, yeah, kind. Well, I am just going to cut it right there because we all know how much Chris hates criticism, how much he hates people uh, critiquing everything that he does. Well, dude, if you are on YouTube or any other social platform, you need to get used to it. And the way you treat cops will probably drive away a lot of your customers. But hey, if you want to shoot yourself out in the foot and go out of business, that's your choice. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.